Hey leaders, thank you for leading this Sunday, January 22nd. We are moving in our God Dwelling Place series into Jesus. So we are getting so close to getting to haze the entire room, but not yet. So uh, this week we are going to be reading through John 1 verses specifically 1 through 18. We're going to do that. I have a um, video dramatic reading kind of deal. Uh, kids will follow in their Bibles. And then we're going to use the four questions poster that's been uh, up for a little bit um, to help them apply to understand what it means to think through these four questions when they read a passage. Um, this could go really quickly. It could take a minute. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Uh, there's a second video option uh, if you're teaching, if we end up teaching a completely mixed group that's a little, the video is, uh, it's easier to grasp. So um, we will do that at Hillside for sure for the younger kids, uh, maybe for, for mixed group if we end up keeping them all together. But that will be that. And then application activity, uh, you have a game using the four questions or um, or just kind of a, a, a drawing a triangle stand-up thing that's just helping them track all of this is to help them track that Jesus is God he is eternal he's always been he didn't just show up for the first time on his earth birthday so um, helping them track how he's how he's throughout the Old Testament and New, which is our next unit for Tuesday nights as well. But uh, so that's kind of the purpose of this Sunday is helping them track uh, Jesus and his eternalness. Um, there is a grown up word for that, but I can't think of it right now. Um, so anyway, also Hillside, we may have a slight difference to the application activities in that uh, Mark has brought in um, a gentleman to preach this weekend because he's going to be preaching at the convention meeting next week and he and his wife were missionaries in Nairobi for 12 years um, not in connection with Cornerstone or anything but they were there they know the place they know the people they know all those things so um, depending on if she wants to or not she may be running uh, application activity time with the kids all together sharing um, letting them ask questions and things like that so we may or may not at Hillside be doing the application activities as written. Um, she may wrap those into what she wants to do. I'm not sure. I haven't heard back from her for, for sure, yes or no. So uh, if she's there and does that, then you'll be there to help with behavior and all that kind of stuff, help, help understanding, all those good things. Um, if she ends up doing that, I may need an extra helper. Nikki and I may need an extra person in the lesson time to help with Bible and pair shares as they're breaking down those questions and things like that. Anyway, that's this Sunday. Thank you for leading.